Let's have you guys give us some ideas so we can warm you up a little bit. So, what's the name of a company that would never, ever partner with Google? I heard Microsoft and Oracle very loudly. What else? This guy's just making hand signals. As if that, I, I'm just gonna take that as Uber, sir. <laughs> Trojan! Please leave, sir. This is still a work-related event. But Trojan does have his own tent over there. It is a very nice tent. It's a ribs tent. Alright. Shush. Let's have, let's do another one. Product launch. What is the name of the newest and best Google product that they have not unveiled? This is much easier to hear with less people. <laughs> All right, someone just said something very X-rated. Thank you, sir. I heard Google Cardboard. I believe that is a real product. Google Kettle Corn. Very good. Texas Puppy. All right, let's practice one more. One more. So, if if aliens landed here at Shoreline and we needed to address them to make sure they weren't going to eat us or kill us or whatever, I guess that's the same thing, uh, what would be the thing we desperately needed to communicate to them first? What, what thing about humanity or life on Earth? <laughs> the things I heard in quick succession. Selfies, onions, remember to look out for Facebook. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what that I don't know if it means like your actual profile or the, the corporation itself. Something's happening. Facebook is after you. Facebook addiction, thank you. Alright, are you guys ready? You guys seem warmed up. You feel warmed up? The sun is actually behind. Give it up for the sun, ladies and gentlemen. Because nothing makes comedy more exciting than doing it outside, <laughs> where it never happens. All right, so you guys are warmed up. Are you ready to learn more about who will be on this stage? Put your hands together as we move on and tell you about our presenters. Top left, Ellie Powers. Bottom left, Mike Patrick. Top right, Dan Sandler. And bottom right, Chad Haas. we could possibly get under this tent. All right, so they will be coming out one at a time and doing fake presentations, but before we get started, let's talk to our judges. Ladies and gentlemen, here they come to the stage. Give them a warm welcome as they come out. Dave Burke, Rachel Garb, and Dion Amer. Here they are making their way to the stage. Nothing makes comedy better than judging it live. All right, so they are taking their devices in hand. They will be scoring with. Let's get to know them. They're all mic'd up. Dave, Rachel, De Dion, let's talk to you. What are you guys looking for tonight? So I I'm looking to see if they live up to, you know, their name or their actions, you know? Like, with Ficus, is he going to be instant? Is Mr. Instant Apps, is he going to live up to that? All right, very good. Rachel? I... I think it would be great if I just laughed so hard I fell off the stool. <laughs> okay, I'm sure they'll be shooting for that. And Dave, what are you thinking? Uh, I'm going to pick her up before she falls off the stool. <laughs> Alright, a trust fall. That makes sense. Good. What are, you, what are you guys thinking will work out here in such a strange setting for a comedy yeah. show? Do you think there's, there's a particular tactic they should be taking? Maybe crowd surfing or something like that? Maybe humor? Maybe humor. Wow, Dion's like, shut up and get the show started. <laughs> wow, we really picked the right judges. This guy's kind of a jerk. <laughs> All right, we're just kidding up here. I don't technically work here, so I don't, I mean, I don't work for the shoreline, I guess. Um, Dion, I will be watching you. Are you the Simon Cowell of this group? It seems like you might be. I'm faking the accent, you know? Yes, you're faking it. I also like the idea that you're not committing to sitting on the no, stool. You have somewhere to be. <laughs> what, what's happening here? The falling off cover. Yeah, yeah. 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 Alright. So give, give it up one more time for our judges, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so how will they be judging? They will be judging based on a scientific criteria that we created three years ago, and it goes a little something like this. Was it funny? Was it universal? Was it transcendent? Was it inspiring? 
was it legendary, and was it entertaining, ladies and gentlemen? It says it right there. It is completely futile. This is all completely bullshit, you know that. <laughs> and that's why we're here, because for the last two days, you've been watching presentations that were really, really wonderful and informative, but every person that you saw meticulously prepared. This is the opposite of that. We have no idea what they're going to do, so in turn, the judges don't really care all that much either. But whoever has the highest score, that will be our champion. Are you guys ready to see who's going to be our champion for the third version of Speechless at Google I.O.? Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our first presenter, Miss Ellie Power! Wow! Ellie! The sunglasses, this is fun. Here is your weapon of choice. You're all mic'd up. So let me brag about Ellie. Not only has she been a part of Google I.O.'s keynote more than once and been amazing, right? She is also, she's also done something that only two people have ever done. She's won the Speechless Madness Corporate Tournament and both years in a row, Google took the prize, by the way. And we have both champions in this show and she won it this year. Give it up for Ellie Powers. against each other and Google has come out victoriously both times. The wheel is up, Ellie. The categories are up. All of them are at your disposal. What do you want to do? Well, the keynote went pretty well. So I was just thinking I could repeat my presentation from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that it's, okay? Yeah, I think if keynote comes up, we'll see how that works out. All Go right. ahead and spin the wheel. It is above us, however you would like to do it. We got wheel music. All right, I like that. Get this thing started. What is the name of a new Google product that does not exist? Let me hear over here a little. What are you saying? All right, let's vote on two because we got a lot of show. Let's A B test these. Let's hear by applause. Google Salsa. Google Actual Reality. Here it is. Give it up for Ellie Powers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We're so glad to have you all joining us here. We know that our developer community has made many excellent contributions to our ecosystem here at Google for many years. And we are absolutely thrilled today to witness the launch of a new product never before seen in the tech industry. You may have seen a quick preview that we delivered on April Fool's Day this year. The clear plastic plexiglass actual reality viewing center. Has anyone tried this yet? I'm so glad to see that many of our beta testers are here today. And now, I'm here to tell you about the next steps for Google actual reality. look at what we've shared about Google Actual Reality so far. <laughs> Many of our users have used some of our Google feedback, feedback mechanisms to tell us that they were feeling <laughs> weighed down. Weighed down by their daily lives. Weighed down by very heavy fabrics that they were carrying around. And it was preventing them from connecting. I myself had to go to the chiropractor many times, and that is actually a fact. And we wanted you to be able to break free. So the product that we have available for you today, it was too heavy. But it won't remain that way. So let's talk about what's new, what is coming to Google Actual Reality right now. <laughs> exactly. Firebase will make it so much easier to make all of your apps better. And as a developer, you want to communicate your red hot message to your users. And as you can see here, on this side, a user could be receiving that message or maybe blocking it. That fire is going to get through even this type of a block. 
Also, with Firebase, you'll be able to extend your actual reality apps beyond the user and take it directly to them with our new app streaming technology. So, let's find out about some of the scenarios that the app streaming technology and actual reality could unlock. <laughs> True connection. Deep, meaningful, human connection. That thing that we haven't been getting lately, have we? You, madam, I can see right there. That's been a, a big issue for you. And you, sir, you as well. I mean, I can tell from your t-shirt. And this is something that all of us struggle with as developers. Am I wrong? So, with this new human connection feature, actual reality will be able to connect you with a real human, such as this human that we see in the red and white dress here. And then you can have a moving emotional experience and hopefully at the end, if it's gone well, we'll reward you with a heart-shaped balloon. <laughs> now, this opens a lot of partnership opportunities, as you can possibly imagine, so let's take a look at some of those. <laughs> Which one am I on? I think I'm on this one. Exactly. We want to partner with spreadsheet makers. Now, many of you to form human connections at some times in your life. You know, I know, sir, that your wedding was very meaningful to you, for example. And you, madam, you told me that your graduation was a deeply moving time for you. Now, unfortunately, people do not have deep human connections through spreadsheets. In fact, sometimes I feel so alone, so abandoned when I'm reviewing spreadsheets that I just have to close my computer and roll around and the ball on the ground. And this is really an opportunity for Google Actual Reality to bring the human touch into spreadsheets, to have a friendly person come out and say, I can help you analyze this data. I can help you understand why it doesn't have to add up to 100%. It can still be an accurate pie chart. And that human touch, <laughs> that human touch can get us through very, very desperate moments when we're asked to approve a new product launch, when we're presenting to the boss, or trying to persuade investors to give us a little bit more seed money before we have to get evicted from our office. And this is very important. So please join me in visualizing what you would do with actual reality. And I actually have a very meaningful message from the children of tomorrow who have told me how actual reality will shape their lives 50 years from now. Let's take a look at this. Yes. We thought global warming was real, and it is. But then it got so hot that it got really cold and everything froze. You know, it's basically like, has anyone ever had the experience where on a hot day someone runs the air conditioning too high? Anyone in their office building have to keep a sweater in July? This is totally my life. And that's how the earth works. That's how the <laughs> earth works. You know, someone just cranked up the AC way too high because it got so hot. And the children of tomorrow say, don't worry. We're going to be fine. With actual reality, we can pretend that they're cute bears and that they're going to be walruses and that they all have cute little bug eyes. And actual reality is going to help us feel like we're not burning to death. And that we're actually in a beautiful, adorable, cute world. And that's what actual reality can do for us. So please join me in bringing your apps to actual reality as soon as possible. Thank you. What did you guys think? I mean, I thought this was going to be a comedy show. I know what Firebase 2.0 is going to go for. You know? <laughs> yeah, the spreadsheet. <laughs> no, that wasn't awkward laughter. It's just because there's so much air in the room. So, great job on the spreadsheet connection. She really excelled. <laughs> you got to watch her, huh? I, what did you think? I thought Ellie was super authentic. Uh, so authentic that now I can't tell if the stuff she told yesterday at the keynote was full of bullshit or not. <laughs> <laughs> but on balance, I think it wasn't. <laughs> you have kind of a Bond villain thing going on right now. Just <laughs> body language. You need to go to the bathroom? That's <laughs>
Neon, I see you've now committed fully to the school. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, no. Another round of applause. The man's not leaving. <laughs> All right. Keep it going for your next presenter, ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage. Dan. You know what? Um, uh, somebody has to be last. Um, and I was happy to be that person last time. And I'll do it again. Okay, we've sandwiched you in the middle. So we've taken away product launch and we're left with what we have. What do you want to do off of the wheel? Oh man, uh, I don't know. Um, everybody loves a good keynote. I think I've got a good post-mortem in me. Um, and uh, I am looking for a new partner, so. No, I'm just <laughs> what do you got? Any, any takers on this? <laughs> One guy. <laughs> and he's so close to the stage, I feel like we could probably make this happen. But we only have 27 minutes and 16 seconds. All right, we'll talk to you later, sir. We'll figure out if we can make that happen for you. You could be going home with the Adam Sandler's brother, Dan. Uh, all right, so let's spin the wheel, see what happens. See if we can partner. I love this game show music that the wheel has now. Oh, it feels like someone may die if they don't get the right category. Audience choice! That means you get to choose off of the categories that are left. We have Keynote, Postmortem, New Partner, and First Encounter with Aliens. Postmortem! 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 All right, it's gonna be New Partner because has been to so many sporting events that he made just the most emphatic cheer I've ever seen. I've never seen anyone at a corporate conference get everyone in their section to chant. You, my friend, you might need to run for president. All right. So, no, please, please don't. I do not want my president to wear a hoodie. Or do I? I do not know. So, new Google partner. We've already done this one. What's the name of a company that Google would never work with? and Vince Vaughn to finish their internships. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he's going to tell us about your new Google partner, Hooli. Take it away, sir. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Uh, I recognize that all of you were doing actual work when I said there would be an all-hands meeting in seven minutes. Um, I appreciate you coming uh, in such, such short notice. Um, those who have not already entered the room uh, will not be allowed to enter and they will find pink slips on their chairs. Um, I have something to talk to you about today. Um, we're really excited. Uh, as you know, uh, Google uh, is part of Alphabet and Alphabet is part of well, I don't know, I think it's the whole universe. So uh, one of the things we're always looking for at Alphabet is new acquisitions, new partners, new companies that we can add to our, our uh, uh, alphabet. <laughs> they have to have unique first letters though. Um, and I'd like to tell you about one today. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes when you don't find a partner good enough to add to your coterie, you have to create one. <laughs> so we at Google, at Alphabet, in the universe, reached down through the clouds and created <laughs> in our own image. <laughs> A company you may be familiar with is called Hooli. Now, uh, many, many would say that this is perhaps too meta, or pushing it, or a tired joke, or I don't watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> But I think this is really going to be very effective. I think this is going to be something that's going to change this business forever. And do you know why? Of course you know why. You, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't be sitting here if you didn't already know that the answer was this. <laughs> <laughs> how many of you, 
how many of you have not been in this exact situation <laughs> in the last week? <laughs> Both of you, you're not working hard enough. This is how we work here. Perhaps you've heard of the nine to nine to six uh, work schedule in other parts of the world. We work on a 3,000 to 3,000 to 542 here at Google, and the only way that you can survive that is by vomiting rainbows in the toilet. <laughs> Huli is going to help us out of that. Huli is going to. Excuse me. Huli is going to. I don't. Someone's actually calling me on the phone. Sorry. <laughs> mm. Yeah. No. No. I. We talked. We talked. We talked about. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to. Uh, uh, hang on. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. I got some. I got some people. Fine. Okay. Fine. Fine. We'll talk about. We'll talk about this later. I love you. Uh, so, <laughs> I've just, I've, I've just, uh, I've just received uh, some news that I'm, um, oh boy, I really just, I mean, wish I didn't have you all in this room. <sighs> um, the holy thing uh, fell through. <laughs> I was really hoping that he was going to save the company. Uh, oh, you okay, you didn't know the company was in trouble. All right, so um, <laughs> I take a step back. Uh, so the whole the whole ads thing isn't working. So um, this was kind of our last shot. They actually had a lot of like money from like HBO or something. I don't really know where it came from. It was going to be like our dowry. We were, it was going to save. Um, it was because they were being, but then they just called me and they said that, 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 that they were running away from us. <laughs> <laughs> they said they were running, running away because we had too many like charts and graphs and metrics and we knew exactly what they were doing and we were measuring their blood glucose and like how big their, what, you get the idea. <laughs> So now we're, now we're screwed, and I don't know, like this, this next slide, I was so excited. I was so excited to show you what we were going to build together with you. What we were going to put together that was going to change everything for us. That, it doesn't even... <laughs> <laughs> it was going to come out of the ocean and attack the old Japan. <laughs> I guess it was a stupid idea. It's like that for dreaming, you know? You, just, you, get, you get out and you're like, I'm just, you know, just one person or two people or 75,000 people or whatever with like a couple dollars to spare, or 68 trillion dollars, or whatever it is, and you think, you know what, I'm gonna make a difference, I'm gonna put something together that no one has ever done, and this is, this is the thanks we get. So, you know what, I'm sorry, everybody's fired. Uh, hang on, sorry. Oh, 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 good. Oh, no, sorry, it's back on. Okay. All right, so the holy thing is going to happen. We're totally going to make a new Japan. It's going to rise up, and then Mothra is going to attack, and it's going to be amazing. I leave you with this idea. <laughs> <laughs> and the idea goes right in your head. That's it. That's all I have. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Times I felt like he was auditioning for Silicon Valley. There's a lot of dramatic arcs to that fake PowerPoint presentation. Let's talk to our judges. What did you guys think? I thought he was hilarious. Hilarious? Just get out of here. <laughs> Just go backstage. I thought I thought he did a lot of stalling, which kind of reminds me of the uh, shortcut API in the end release, which he uh, removed in yesterday's release. I don't know why that guy. I see what you're doing. Stalling with his work. <laughs> he made some good calls in um, his approach, like answering the phone, and using that as a prop. Yeah, yeah. Did you guys, what did you guys think about him basically wasting half of his time doing fake phone calls? <laughs> yeah. We'll be working